In today's video, I'll teach you how to make these PowerPoint slides that are trending in social media. I'm using PowerPoint from Microsoft 365, so let's get started. Okay, so for the first one, we're gonna right click on the slide, go to Grid and Guides and add a vertical guide. This will add a guide to the middle of the slide. So now we can go to Shapes and select a rectangle and make it cover the whole right area of the slide. All right, so now we're gonna go to Insert, text box and we're going to put a text box right here. Let's center align the text and also go to the alignment options and click on middle. Now I'm just going to increase the font size. Sometimes it shows that there's a limit for 96 points but you can also type in the number that you want and that's how you can get a bigger font. And now I'm just going to write my text and make sure that everything fits within one line and I'm gonna change the font to Arial Black. So let's make sure that everything is just in one line. And now holding Shift on your keyboard, you're gonna select the rectangle first and then the text. Go to Shape Format, click on Merge Shapes, and you're gonna click on Combine. Amazing, so now we're gonna get rid of the outline by going into Shape Outline and clicking No Outline. Now right click on the shape, click on Format Shape, and that will open this panel here on the right. So now we're gonna go to Fill, select a picture or texture fill, then click on Texture, and we're gonna select the stationary texture. Now we need to bring in an image, so I'll just copy paste this image of the Mona Lisa. I'll zoom out a bit just so we can see better what we're doing. And now you're gonna right click on the image and click on Send to Back. Amazing. So now we just need to align our image and to keep things tidy you can always click on the crop button and align the handles to the area of the slide and this isn't necessary but it's very helpful because that way you know exactly where the slide is and serves as a guide to align your image. And that's pretty much it for the first one. Alright, for the second slide we're gonna start inserting an image so just copy paste it into PowerPoint and make sure that it covers the whole area of the slide. And now we're gonna insert a rectangle on the bottom half of the slide. And now let's insert a text box by clicking on this icon right here. And we're gonna put it right here. Again, I'm gonna center the text and align everything to middle. I'll make the font larger and this effect will only work with bold fonts. So I'll just write my text and then look for a very bold font like Arial Black and I'll just put it right here. And now let's make sure that everything is aligned. So holding Shift on your keyboard, select the rectangle first and then the text, go to Shape Format and click on Align to Center. And now we can go to Merge Shapes and click on Combine. Now you're gonna right click on the shape and click on Format Shape. That will open this panel on the right, so go to Line and click on No Line. And then let's go to Fill and select a Gradient Fill. We only need two gradient stops, so if you have more than that, just drag them down to get rid of them. So here's where you can format the gradient, so I'll just move it closer to the other one by dragging it to the left. And I'm also gonna change the color to black. And then I'll just increase the transparency slightly, something like 14%. So now click on the other handle and let's change the color to black as well. But in this case, we're gonna turn the transparency to 100%. So now we just need to add our text and you can leave it like that. But if you want to add animation, you can select everything here at the bottom and group it with Ctrl G. And now let's go to animations over here on the top bar and let's click on fly in. Now let's change the start to with previous. Let's change the duration to around one second. And now let's click on the animation pane, which is this button right here. Right click on this item and click on effect options. Let's quickly smooth the end and click on OK. And you're pretty much done. Before we move on, if you're a teacher or a professional, check this out. As you guys know, I've been working on my presentation course for a few months now, and during this time, I've had the chance to test out different ways to make courses, and that's how I found iSpring Suite. 
iSpring Suite is an add-in for PowerPoint that helps you create courses, interactive pages, quizzes, and instructional videos very quickly. You can get it from iSpringSolutions.com and basically, once you install it, you get a new tab at the top called iSpring Suite 11 that has a bunch of different tools so you can start creating your course. For example, if you click on slide templates, you have a bunch of different layouts that you can insert to start creating your course. There's every layout you can possibly imagine, from covers to content slides to timelines, charts, and summary slides. If you click on quiz, you can create a graded quiz or a survey. It's very easy to select what kind of question you want to insert. There's everything from multiple choice to sequences, true or false, etc. They also have a section for characters that you can insert into your slides to help you guide your course. They all have different professions, ethnicities and ages. There's also different angles of the same character, so you'll always find one to match your content. You can customize the illustrations with their character builder feature to match your brand identity by changing the colors of the clothes, their uniforms, etc. There's all kinds of backgrounds from stores, offices, restaurants to public spaces. There's a huge library of icons and objects that you can insert straight into your slides to tell your story, which is very cool and super easy to use. However, the role play feature is my favorite because you can create a full interactive course that's super engaging and feels natural, very much so like a casual conversation. You basically draft some questions or messages and link different scenes to each answer to continue with the flow of the course. In a few minutes, you'll have everything mapped out and you can make it as simple or as complex as you like. There's even a feature to add AI voiceover to narrate your messages, or you could even record your own voice as well. Welcome to the PowerPoint course. Are you ready to start? So, if you're a teacher or a professional looking to create a course for your business, I highly recommend iSpring Suite. They have a lot of tutorials and support on their website, so you can create amazing courses using PowerPoint. All right, let's move on to the third slide. We're gonna start inserting a text box. Again, I'm gonna make the text larger using this button. And I'll just write a word using a very bold font. In this case, I'll use this one called Active Grotesque Black. And just write a word. Now, I'll look for a GIF online. So I just went to giphy.com. I look for the word Argentina. I found this one right here. And I'll just copy the image and paste it into my slide. Let's make sure that it covers the whole word. So in my case, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to stretch this image, which is not ideal, but this is the only way that I can fit the three colors of the flag into the text. All right, so let's select everything, then go to shape format, click on merge shapes, and we're gonna click on intersect. Amazing, so now we're gonna format the background. Right click on the slide, click on format background, and here we're gonna pick a gradient fill. I'm gonna change the direction to a diagonal. Let's make sure we only have two handles and the one on the right, I'm gonna change it to this royal blue color. And for the one on the left, I'm gonna pick the color black. And now let's just make sure that the transparency is set to 0% and I'll just move them closer to each other. And now I'll just look for a PNG image on Google. And I found this one, which I think it's gonna work very well. So just drag it into your slide. You can also copy and paste it. And now I'm just gonna put it right here. The last thing that we need to do is obviously to add our text and you're pretty much done. All right, let's have a look at the last one. So right click on the slide, click on format background and here we're gonna change the color to black. Now I'm gonna insert a rounded rectangle. So something like this. And remember that with the yellow dot, you can change the roundness of the corners. So this is looking amazing. I'll just put it right here in the middle for now. So now we're gonna insert a circle holding shift so we get a perfect circle. And holding shift also, let's select the both of them, click on a line and align to center. And now we're gonna go to merge shapes and click on subtract. 
So now with this new shape that we created, I'm just gonna put it right here on the left bottom of the slide. And now I'm gonna get rid of the outline. So go to shape outline and click on no outline. And I'm also gonna change the color to this bright red. Double click on it so you can write in it. I'll just write the number zero one. And for this one, I'm gonna pick the font Gotham Black and I'm gonna make it larger. I'll also change the color to black and now holding control on your keyboard, you're gonna drag it two times to the right so you can duplicate. Holding shift, let's select everything, go to shape format, click on align and click on distribute horizontally. Now we're gonna group it with control G and align it to the center of the slide by going into align and align to center and then just ungroup everything with control shift G. I'll also change the color of the other two. So for these ones, I just pick very bright colors and I'm just gonna replace the numbers here to 02 and 03. All right, so now I just added the word agenda here at the top using a text box. And now I'm gonna make a little bit more space in the middle. So I'll just select all of these and move them down. And I'll also go to the text options panel, click on the text box panel, and I'm just gonna increase the bottom margin so we can move the numbers up. To access this panel, just right click on a shape and click on format shape. And now I'm gonna insert another rounded rectangle here. Again, let's change the roundness of the corners. I'll make sure that everything's aligned. So just holding shift, select both of the shapes, go to align and align to center. And now for this shape right here, I'm gonna change the color to white and I'm gonna get rid of the outline. Again, double click to write your text in it and I'll just move it up slightly. Holding control on your keyboard, you can drag it to the right to duplicate it. So I'll just duplicate it one last time and then I'm gonna select everything holding shift and now right click on them and send them to back. Amazing, so now we can just move them down like this so the text is hidden. Let's duplicate the slide by selecting the slide and then pressing Ctrl D on your keyboard. We're gonna bring our first text up. Again, duplicate the slide with Ctrl D and let's move this text down and the next one up and so on and so forth. Let's repeat it one last time, move this text down and then move this one up. Holding shift, select all of the slides, go to transitions and let's pick my favorite one, morph. And that's it guys, that's how you make these four slides that are trending right now on my Instagram and TikTok. Also, now I'm making custom presentations, so make sure to check that out in the description of this video. Remember to subscribe to this channel if you want to get more PowerPoint tutorials every week. As always, thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for your support and I will see you on my next video.